Hey there Dev Squad, today we're going to be showing you how you can create voices for your video game using AI. Hey there, my name is Luke and in this video, we're going to show you how you can very quickly and iterate on creating AI voices for your video game. So having said that, this is a tool that's going to allow you to very quickly create voices for things like voiceovers, NPCs, tutorials, and all of that good stuff. And all of this is done inside of Unreal Engine. And this is brought to you by Replica Studios, who sponsored this video. Their tool is currently free to download and install to the Unreal Engine plugin. So let's download the plugin and try it out for ourselves. Okay, so now that we know what the Replica Studios plugin is, what we can do is go ahead and try it out for ourselves. If you head over to the website that I'm on currently, which is replicastudios.com slash unreal, you can actually try out some of these AI voice actors for yourself. So what we're going to do is go to replicastudios.com slash unreal. We're going to scroll down and we can actually try some of the different voice actors they've got available. So as you can see here, we've got all sorts of voice actors ranging from Freya, Deckard, Ava, Devu, Solomon, Lily and more and they've all got different roles and different styles and this is essentially how you're going to be changing the voice, how you can get one voice to sound different from another. You have essentially got different voice actors that have been made and put into this plugin to make all of this happen. So what we can do is we can try out our Freya voice in the hero, uh, the hero role and the styles is hatred. The darkness, the talons in the night. And then what we can also do is try out another voice like Deckard. The fight must be dead by now. But most importantly, what is really good about this plugin is you can have the same voice actor, but you can have different delivery styles. So this first voice that you heard there for Freya was Hatred, and the second one was Lighthearted. So if I play the second voice here now, you can see that it sounds very different. Why does your breath smell so bad? And that is a really awesome feature of this plugin. So we know that we can essentially choose a voice actor and then get different delivery styles. And this is something that you do not get with any other AI voice. So having said that, you can get a whole range of emotions using this AI voice. So now that we've experimented with it, we can see the power of this. Let's go ahead and create an account and add this into Unreal Engine 4 for us to use. So having said that, go over to create account in the top right hand corner. And then from here, you need to put in your information, that being your first name, your last name, your email and a password. If you have a referral code, by all means, you are more than welcome to use this. On the right hand side, you can see what creating an account gives you access to, and that is 30 minutes of generated speech, access to all of the default voices, creation of one replica voice of your own, and then ultimately you've also got unlimited projects, so you can include this in as many projects as you like. So having said that, fill in the information and then press sign up. From here, you now need to head over to your email provider, click on the confirmation email, click that link and you are ready to go. From there, we're then going to be hopping into Unreal Engine. We're going to go over to our marketplace and we are going to be finding our replica AI voice actors plugin. To find this, you can either use the link on the website or you can go to marketplace and then what you can do is within the main marketplace, you can simply go to the search products panel in the top right and type in replica and you are going to be able to find that, that plugin. So search for replica AI. We can get this and then what it's going to say is either install to engine if you already own this plugin or you are going to be able to add this to your account. This plugin as of right now is free to download. So by all means, add that. And then once you've completed that, what you want to do is install this to the engine, choose the version of the engine you want to install it to. For me, I'm going to be installing it to the latest version of the engine, that being 4.26 and then go ahead and press install. This is only going to take a couple of minutes to install and then what we're going to be doing is opening up our project, a brand new project. We're going to be enabling the plugin and getting started with this plugin. 
With this done, what we're now going to do is open up Unreal Engine 4. So having said that, we're going to go to our library. We're going to open up Unreal Engine 4.26.1, which is our latest version of Unreal. And then for the purpose of this tutorial, what I'm going to be doing is simply creating a brand new games project with the type first person, and then I'm just going to press next. You can include this plugin in any project of yours. For now, for this tutorial, I just wanted a blank canvas. So I'm going to leave all of these default settings enabled, and I'm going to give the project name the name replica, and then I'm going to create it. With this done, you're now going to notice I've got a pop-up in the bottom right hand corner that says new plugins are available. What we're going to do is go to manage plugins and then from here we are going to be able to search for our replica plugin and then enable it. If you don't have that pop-up for whatever reason, another way to get into this plugins panel is go to edit plugins and then from here and then from here, what we can do is just go to the search panel in the top right. And if we search for replica, we can then simply press enabled. And then as you can see here, it now needs to restart the engine. So we are going to press restart now. Give this a minute to open up again. And then from there, we are ready to go with this replica plugin. And we can start creating these voices for ourselves. So go ahead and close this manage plugins panel and then we are going to be opening up the replica plugin by pressing the big R icon at the top of our menu bar that you can see here. So we are going to open this up and then over on your screen you're going to have something that looks a little bit like this and it's going to ask you to log in with the account that you created earlier. So go ahead and fill out your information and press log in. Once you've logged in, you've now got this nice simple interface that you can use to start creating your voices. So first things first, your account should show up in the top right hand corner. And then in the main section of the window, you should be able to select a speaker and then enter your text that you want it to generate. So what we're going to be doing is going in and we're going to be selecting a voice actor. Now, all of these voice actors, you are going to be able to preview over on the website like I showed you earlier. But you can also just play and preview some of these voices directly from here. What you can also use is the filters on the left hand side to filter and find the correct voice actor for what you're looking for. So I can say I am looking for a female who has a voice age of a young adult and then I can also look for an accent if that's something that I want. I'm going to use British. And then I can also look at number of styles as well. If I want it to have one or two or three styles, I can select that. So as you can see here right now, it's not currently showing that. So you can find some voice actors that have more than one delivery style. A good one for that is Freya. Replica Studios are constantly adding in new vo voice actors and adding in different styles. So what I'm going to do instead of using the filters, I am actually going to be looking for Freya, which is here. And I can preview this by simply pressing the play button. Contains thousands of demonic souls. If you want to use another one, you absolutely can. But for now, I have chosen Freya, so what I'm going to do is press select. With this done, it should now show Freya in the top left hand corner. This is your speaker. What you can then do from here is you can now type in the text that you'd like her to speak. So what I'm going to do is say, hello world, welcome to Dev Squad Academy. What I can do now that I have set what I want it to say, I can simply press preview. Hello world, welcome to Dev Squad Academy. So what you're going to notice with this is I am actually able to get a voice that is going to say exactly what I've told it to here. But what I can also do is use this plugin to make the sound a little bit different. So if I wanted to, I could first and foremost change the style. So I could take my style and change it from serious to light hearted. And then if I go ahead and preview this again, it is going to sound different. Hello world, welcome to DivSquad Academy. So as you can see there, that is different. So we have got a whole variety of different sounds and controls that I can play with here to make it be delivered the way that I wanted it to. So for example, 
What I could do if I wanted to have a bit of a break between Hello World and Welcome to Dev Squad Academy, I could put in some silence. So I could click just before my welcome, I could add a silence and I could add a silence of anywhere from 2000 milliseconds all the way down to 70 or even 40 milliseconds if that's something I wanted to do. So what I'm gonna do is add in a 70 millisecond silence, which is just below a short silence, or I can just choose short there at 100, and then preview it. And what you're gonna notice is it's now going to add in that silence. So let's preview it. Hello world, welcome to Div Squad Academy. So as you can see there, we've now got our silence in there too. What we can also use is our volume control to select a specific piece of our text here. So if I highlight our welcome, I can then add the volume and turn this up. So let's say I wanted to make this a little bit louder, then I can use the medium volume or the loud volume to emphasize a specific word. So I'm going to use medium on welcome, and then I'm going to preview this. Just Hello like this. world, welcome to Div Squad Academy. As you can see there, our welcome is now going to be louder, which is perfect. So as you can see, we're really starting to use these tools to get the voice to sound exactly how we want it to. The next control that we're going to look at is our speech rate. So what we're going to look at doing now is taking our academy and slowing it down. So I'm going to select my academy, go to speech rate, and then I'm actually going to be setting this to 0 0.8 per, uh, 0 0.8 times the normal speed, which is a little bit slower. And then I'm going to be previewing this. Hello world, welcome to Div Squad Academy. And as you can see there, my academy was now slowed down. And the very last control that we've got access to is our pitch. So if I go ahead and select my Dev Squad text, I can then take the pitch and I can make this higher or lower depending on the result that we're after. So I'm going to be setting this to a nice low pitch. If I go ahead and set preview. Hello world, welcome to Div Squad Academy. As you can see there, it got lower in pitch. Um, so if you've got a male voice, for example, this tool might be really useful. So you can really emphasize and put some emotion in a specific word. So again, with all of these controls here, guys, you just need to play around with them, experiment with them and create your own voices. And then from there, we can actually look at creating this as a take and then saving it into Unreal Engine. So let's do just that. We've got a voice here that we are very happy with. If you want to make any changes, you can. So for example, you can highlight one of the sections, you can press edit, and then if you wanted to remove just the volume, you could press the delete just like that. But if you're happy, move over to create take. This is going to take a couple of seconds, but now you have saved this take. So now you have created this take. It is going to be accessible to you. With this take, I can keep previewing it as many times as you like by simply pressing this. Squad Academy. And with that, what we can do now is we can take this take and we could take this take into Unreal Engine. There's a lot of takes, but let's go ahead and do this. So taking it from the plugin is simple. All we have to do is press the download to content browser button. From here, we just press that. And then as you can see there, it has now actually created a folder for us in our content browser. And this is going to be underneath the replica folder. And then if you wanted to, because this is now just a sound wave, we can play this from within our content browser and we can activate it just like any other sound wave. So let's go ahead and play this. Welcome to Div Squad Academy. Hello world, welcome to Div Squad Academy. So with that done, now another thing that you might want to look at doing if you're working with any kind of sounds is create a folder and organize your sounds. So one way you might want to organize this is by having different voice actors. So I'm going to be creating a new folder and I'm going to be giving this the name Freya. And then I'm going to simply take my sound wave and drag and drop it into the folder by pressing move here. 
with this in here now, I've now got my organized Freya voices. What we're going to look at now is actually taking this voice and placing it into our world, getting it to be activated. So let's take a look at that. So what we're going to do is we are going to add a volume into our level. And what we're going to be looking for is simply a trigger volume. What we're going to do is place this in front of our character here. And then as soon as the player walked over this trigger volume, we are going to be welcoming them to the Dev Squad Academy. Nice and simple, but cool. So let's go and do just that. So we've got this trigger volume selected. We are going to go over to the top. We're going to be opening up our level blueprint. And then we are going to, with that trigger volume selected, we are going to add an event for trigger volume, collision, and on begin overlap, we are going to be with the other actor, which in this case is our first person character. We are going to be creating that sound. So we are going to play sound 2D. The sound for this, you guessed it, is going to be the one that we just created. So select it in the content browser. And then we are just going to be using this asset. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So if we go ahead and hit compile, press play, and then walk forwards, you are going to hear us listening to that Hello, sound. Wolf. Welcome to Doof Squad Academy. And that's perfect. So hopefully now you guys can see how easy it is to create voices with this plugin. If you've got a lot of announcers or you're creating a tutorial level or even an RPG game where you're going to have lots of voices over and over again, you can use this plugin to very quickly iterate on those and create the voices saying the exact text that you need it to. That's it for this video. By now, you should be very comfortable creating different voices for your video game and iterating on them to get different delivery styles. I'm really interested to see what you guys are able to create using this plugin. If you guys want to share your work, make sure you guys use the hashtag replica voice and we can see all the awesome work that you're creating. If you need a little bit of support with this plugin, be sure to join the replica discord, the link for which is in the description. But for now guys, that's everything. Stay awesome, keep creating. Virtus, signing out.